Hey guys, Terry Berger here with Remax. I hope you're having a great day today. Just in the office doing some work and uh, wrapping up, getting ready for Memorial Day. And I thought I would share three, um, real quick, three articles with you that I think are must read for every home buyer and home seller in the market today. The first is, um, is an article I got just a few days ago talking about the foreclosure market. And it says that um, the foreclosure activity in April hit a 40 month low which is great. So you can look at that, the link is below. Just click on it and it'll take you straight to the article. It also lists Georgia as one of the top 10, um, top 10 states, but uh, we're down on the list, thankfully. The next one talks about the best cities for home buyers where buying actually beats renting. And uh, Atlanta is actually listed number one on this list out of 10 cities, so you can check that out. Again, the link is below for you, so you can, you can view that. And then finally, one of the most common questions I receive is, um, what's a better deal, a foreclosure or a short sale? And there's some data on that, not a lot, but there's some. There's a company called Realty Track, and their main job is to, um, is to track foreclosure data. And you can go on their website, realtytrack.com, and they have some cool tools for you as a home buyer or even a home seller if you're thinking about putting your house on the market of where the, the, the hot foreclosure areas are and where there aren't that many foreclosures. It's called a foreclosure heat map. So if you Google Realty Track foreclosure heat map, it should take you where you want to go. But this particular article um, was found in the USA Today. And um, uh, I'm going to, you can read it, the link will be here, but you can scroll all the way down to the bottom. And where I have it highlighted here, it says discounts are larger when homes have gone back to the bank. Realty Track says the bank owned properties average first quarter discounts of 35%. By the way, you won't see those kind of discounts in Atlanta. That's a national average. Um, pre foreclosure homes, often short sales in which sellers and lenders agree to sell for less than what's owed, averaged 9%. Now, I don't have any formal data on this, but every short sale that I've ever tracked that has gone into foreclosure has been sold for much less than it was even under contract for as a short sale. So those of you that think short sales are a good deal, I don't think they are. If you're only gonna get a 9% discount and you've gotta wait the months and months and months it takes to get a short sale, you've gotta kinda of weigh that emotional price with the financial price and see uh, which one works better for you and your family. As always, I'm here to serve you. Feel free to give me a call at 678-388-1020. I hope you have a great day and a happy Memorial Day weekend. Take care.